Hey Sagittarius, welcome. Uh, this is going to be your February reading. This is the 1st of the 15th. It's a special bonus. I haven't done the mid-month marks for quite some time, a few years now. Um, I hope you're all doing well, and yeah, let's jump into the month. Oh my god, right off the bat though, I gotta say, like, I was meditating on energy Sagittarius, and... I was getting a lot of this whiff of emotion coming through, and I just finished Aries' reading, and it was pretty emotional in a good way, as I saw it. Um, but yeah, it's always up to your interpretation, but I am getting really strong emotions coming through here for you. Um, we've passed your season. Um, we're not really seeing any planets in your sign quite, but... Um, Always take it as you will. Okay, obviously the moon cycles through Sag every now and then, but that's not the point. Okay, some of you here, let's get down to it. I feel like you have someone in your mind. You're like feeling very nervous, okay? I feel for some of you about maybe some encounter, like I'm hearing specifically this encounter and I do feel like there is a very specific or particular encounter that you have in your mind um, that's in the back of your mind. I feel like some of you, maybe you're like telling yourself like, I don't want, I'm not gonna get emotional. I don't wanna get emotional and I see, well, Sagittarius, I am uh, getting emotional. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing it like this. So, some of you, oh, my nose like running. For some of you, um, you know, it could be a metaphor, like maybe, or oh, do I want to catch feels, you know, something like this. Like, I caught feels. I'm hearing, I'm hearing more, from Morticia. It's like, of course you did. Okay, you freaking, yeah. Um, I'm hearing, of course you did. Okay, so this is maybe like you with you as well. It's like, what is this about? I feel like you're avoiding something. I feel like maybe there was... Huh. Okay, yeah. Because, well, for some of you, it's going to be a splash zone. Some of you are going to be very emotional about this. Because maybe, yeah, you're holding it back because it's like... Uh oh, because if I get emotional, I'm going to get very emotional. <laughs> okay, we have the King of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This could be a birth for some of you. Um, there's something... Oh my god, the star. Yeah, the world. This is really emotional. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, it's very emotional. I feel like some of you Sagittarius, this is definitely for some of you at birth. We have the Page of Pentacles. Um, you're not sure uh, how to do this now. Some of you, you're you're seeing something come full circle from the past. It's something maybe you thought was over with. And some of you, this is just an energy you're coming back to. I feel like it's this feeling of like coming home. Some of you, oh boy, you're feeling very emotional. I hear that again. So there's something that maybe you're seeing is like actually happening. Like this is surreal. I hear you sort of like in this piece of like, oh my God, like it's really happening this time I'm hearing as well. Some of you, um, oh my God, I just can't. I feel like convulsions of emotion. Like it's just rushing in now. Let's get further. Um, this isn't, this is, yeah, well, this is... <laughs> <laughs> some of you Ooh, this is for some of you possibly even you're on the aisle okay i'm hearing uh yeah i see someone on the aisle and this could be <clears throat> oh no i'm hearing letter b i'm hearing brit 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 awards brit brit awards is this something brit brit's awards okay there's something that yeah i see for some of you like you maybe even get like a standing ovation with your work and it's just like Oh my god, I wasn't expecting this. Like, okay. But then I feel like, oh, come on, you were. Oh my god, this is very emotional. Ah, I keep getting that such a tear. It's a hang me in the five of cups. Some of you, you're gonna win something sad. Okay, no, you're gonna win something. Oh no, here we go. See, this is what was coming in. The Aries reading. Aries just cut their reading short. It was like, a Sag can carry the baton over. <laughs> Nine of Cups of the Apex. This is your dream, Sagittarius. This is your dream. You are coming home. This is home. This is home for you. This feels right. This feels perfect for you, okay? This is what I'm seeing. Um, if you, well, it feels perfect the way it happened. The fool just leads right into your spread. Sagittarius, you really come very, very far here. And some of you, you may even get like some sort of promotion. It's a big deal. But this is something that you feel in your bones. It's not just like, ah, oh, making more money. It's like, this is something you feel, Sagittarius. This is something that you feel, I'm hearing, and, I've, and I'm doing all right. What's that song? Um, some of you may even like write a song, it becomes a hit. Like, there's just something happening. Like, you're getting <laughs> acclaim. You are, for some of you, really feeling and tasting your success in a way that... Um, you work towards this point, I'm gonna say it like that. It's not something that you, let's say, said to yourself, oh yeah, I won't like, 
you know, this or that to be like this or that way. But you just sort of said like, that's the life I want to achieve in whatever way it looks like in the end of the day. I want to live a life like that. And I feel like you left it vague and ambiguous. You left it sort of abstract and you left it in, old, old, in other words, knowing that it would then be up to your spirit to carry the message into your reality and in, into into the space of 3D form. So you gave the faith to your to your higher self and you said, you do it. I know that you are going to do it best. So some of you really let go of your, your need to constrict your vision. Some of you, you are seeing the work of your labor pay off really, really here. The High Priestess on the Nine of Cups is a gift from spirit. I'm just getting that here. Let's clear it just getting that feeling sad. I see a lock and a key. Some of you may be, you know, this is a huge achievement and I feel like you really have brought with you so much over the years that now speaks. It's like those moments when you plant those seeds and they don't grow, they don't grow. They don't. And then they, but oh, is it that they're not growing? It's, it's that they're growing. And sometimes, yeah, the longer the spurt, okay, that we're able to identify and quantify and qualify, the longer the lifetime of that, of that, you know, of, of, the, of that good deed. Oh, that was done. Some of you, this is your good karma. And I feel like you're very patient. You know, you weren't sitting there like, when's my good karma coming in? It's like, that's not why we're doing what we're doing. Some of you, right? <laughs> this is a me message from you to you. And you said to yourself, I'm doing this because I want to do this. And I feel like now spirit's like, in your higher self, it's like, well, okay, great. And you did that very thing. And now this is what happens given what it is you put into that. That's unconditional love. This is the unconditional love that you put into your story, into your life. And this is what now you are reaping from that experience. Some of you said, Sherry, you're just so powerful in this, in this period. Um, you've most likely had a ton of epiphanies as you move through your season. There were a lot of things that, you know, you really moved through, you cleared. I'm hearing specifically, especially through Sagittarius season, you really, 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 really identified what just doesn't come for the ride when it comes to you and your long-term future and your successes. And um, again, just like simply what that feels like. And some of you, you know, you have no fear. You've released what you feel you need to really get to that point where you're going to be you for you entirely and without anything that you need to say or do to qualify for another. That reality is yours and you will just simply experience it. Now, this is something of a surprise, said Sharice, even though I feel like... Mm -hmm, it's something independent, but I feel like it is a celebration, Six of Cups. This is something very special. I feel Spirit will acknowledge what this is in a really, really obvious way, but in the space where it's you recognizing it, okay? Not, you know, this grand, okay, sort of like, you know, fascination of others even uh, that others have of what you're doing i'm hearing winning some of you are, will be winning something but i feel like this is a private win and this is more than anything really a moment where you say i really come pretty damn far and uh some of you here your guides here are definitely with you through this cycle and process and i feel like you know you do feel that there is just something in the air i'm seeing a fox there's something that um you feel the magic of and you say it's happening now this may manifest six eight months online please come back to this reading Sagittarius. okay i do recommend to yeah go back to readings because they can really really resonate differently over time like maybe next month you're totally resonating with this message in a completely different way ace of swords of bright this is you seeing your future Sagittarius as well some of you're gonna have a premonition here pay close attention i'm here until the 11th the 12th and 13th there's something that you will develop even an idea for there's some kind of vision you have for some kind of even creative project or something here that's very special and very important the queen of wands yes there's something that you have identified okay so there's something extremely specific and it's, it's something that you are vibrating with okay as a sort of desire it's not something intellectualized it's something that you don't need pen and paper for it's more the the, the even the pain i'll say it like this of your soul of your spirit is is the writing down okay of the vows and that's the paint that you have for your canvas of what you're creating and why you're creating it and you know how you will sort of give context to what it is that you maybe have even already created. This is a matter of you stepping away from the portrait and saying, it's going to happen the way it does. Nine of Swords, Sagittarius, you've been through a lot. Wow. You've really, really, really had times. And Spirit is just dropping this card out to say, let us not forget the things that you really identified you needed to part with, okay? You really needed to part with and you need to say, it's okay. And it's okay. Losing doesn't mean loss, right? It's all subjective, your currency in this dimension. Many of you here, you really, really had to be brave. Yes, 10 of cups on that night of swords and say, I made it. 
even if I didn't make it the way others wanted me to make it, I still made it and I still continued in my way and I did not look back and I didn't look at who needed me when I needed myself. I said, this is me with me. Okay, and this is why I do it. You started from a really humble place and Adair is this very emotional. Like, ah, you very much culminating here sad. I'm really happy for you. Seven of Cups. There's something that you remember. Okay, it's something that you remember okay and it's something that you that you want to talk about could be something here that you know is a memory of some kind there's something that you carry with you into the next steps and stages and i feel like it's this energy of the memory of what it is that has really reacquainted you with your passion that is the sole purpose of what you're creating and i feel like you don't really have words to explain what it is you're experiencing in relation to how that process has unfolded for you this is something very personal very private very very powerful and i feel like it's something that is is about you okay it's your introverted sort of experience of manifestation of let's go of of, of your capability let's go and take one the root and yeah throat chakra your your man your manifestation capabilities okay how you are managing as well okay your potential and i feel like you know, it's scary. This is a long process. Some of you here, you really hear your star seed. You're here on a very long journey here. It's a very long winding road on planet Earth at times. It feels that way. And you're always followed though by your spirit guides and you're always um, connected, right? And sometimes you're the most connected when you feel the most disconnected. And that's the prize here that you win the knowledge and the knowingness. It's that's yeah, it, it's that step where you say, I'm never in a space of disconnection from a higher self. It's always going to be my perspective. And so some of you here, there is this feeling of, I was so far away from what I loved. And, and then you realize, you know, coming back into the space of manifesting it is not, you know, coming closer towards it. It's remembering that I was always there and I was always with it, that feeling of knowingness and oneness and, and having the the need for this love. I hear it like that as well. And the, and there's something very natural and organic just sort of unfolding here for you, Sagittarius. It's something that, let's go. There's something that will say it like this, in this way. There's something that I hear again, you remember. So maybe it's kind of like it happens and then you recall it, you manifest it and then you realize you were manifesting it. Okay, yeah, something like that. It's like you meet someone and you realize there's a person you've been longing for. It's something like that, Sagittarius. This is something, okay, of even like your playfulness with which you've just experienced your life that is now paying off in the way of sort of rewarding you with a three-dimensional sort of experience, okay? To actually experience the feeling that you've had and you've held for it. Let's go. The faith that you've had for it all along. And faith means not needing, let's say, to have it in 3D. That's the unconditionalism of love and the true desire that you have for whatever you have. And that's where you say, I never needed this. I just simply wanted it. I wanted it to exist and that's why it's here. So for some of you, it's very emotional. Listen, Sagittarius, you are, oh my God. Like some of you, this is really a birth. Like this is something that, you know, it could be a project. It could be literally, a. you know, there's something that you saw all the way through but you still remain humble always in relation to whatever this was, which is why it's so pure and real for you. Okay, I'm really happy for you. Please comment what this is because I feel like a lot of other Sagittarians would find it very interesting to see how this energy, you know, can sort of proliferate. We have the sun again coming through for you. Your spirit guide Sagittarius are saying, you're a star and we're always behind you. Even when you feel that you're very lonely, I'm hearing that, or you're very like, you know, even, oh, you know, for some of you, you know, maybe you even had, you're going through a lot. I'm hearing some of you, you're dealing with bullies, okay? For some of you, you were dealing with a lot here. Sad, and I feel like spirit saying, you know, it's at those times where we're holding on the tightest, you know, and we're telling you, we're, we're here. Sometimes that means, you know, it's like, am I experiencing these shadow energies of the three-dimensional plane? Or is it that I'm actually experiencing something very exciting first, but I'm perceiving the shadow that wills challenge that energy space? For some of you, you're, re you're realizing that your feats are coming, okay, along for the ride always where you find shadow and it's how you dance it's how you dance so never keep never keep your mind on either end of the beat is what i'm hearing some of you you have culminated okay 
so let's continue i've got a few more cards research charts because i'm gonna be a ball and baby okay <laughs> i'm gonna have to cry this one out <laughs> it is very special let's get further the tower the hermit i see a, a police uh van and a car preceding it I'm seeing the number 5, 8, and 11, 2, 12, 13, 12, 13, temperance, 7 of cups. I see something, um, I see you sort of, like, gauging numbers. Maybe there's something here, like, you're looking even at stocks is what I'm hearing. Lu Luna Lappin. Okay, this is, uh, the new moon coming in, and then we have justice. There's something that you've been rewarded with, it's official, and there's no going back, so there's just no, there's no going back. Some of you, you've made it, bro, come on, I mean, you, I just called you bro, so there's, okay, maybe, oh, no, no, okay, maybe you, you know, you, <laughs> you, yeah, you are, have even maybe, you know, there's some, let's, okay, there's a link, some of you, you feel like, even maybe someone has like kind of accepted you into their crowd. It's something. It's 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 important to you, Saz. Okay, like you all know what this is. Uh huh. Page of Cups of the Apex. For some of you, this is like someone who like even speaks highly of your work in like a really public context, and it's like, oh my god, wow, thank you. You know something like that. Um, yeah, I see you very humble though. It's like wow. What he said my name? I'm hearing that. Oh my god. Yeah, guys, like, this person is acknowledging you very, very much so. Like, whoever this is, the Tempest card. It could also be that you just feel spirit so, so strongly, you know? Um, yes. There's something that's happening very quickly, but I feel like you'll have the time to sort of take it all in. And I feel like there is this moment where you do really absorb it, and it really settles in, and it clicks. And some of you, uh, it's a meeting, you're meeting someone here, and it's a very emotional experience, I feel like a lot of your soul is, is in this meeting, is in this, you know, re is in this, um, union, okay, and this is a soul contract for some of you that is, it's, it's heavily guided, okay, it's heavily watched over, you have, um, guides here who are watching over this space it's something really sacred here whatever is coming up you know, when it is that you do meet with this person i'm seeing a big castle this is uh, lovers this is your past life reunion oh sagittarius this is a past life love ace of cups on the page of cups the lovers strength card. can we ask for anything more come on sagittarius i mean this is yes it's a yes. Uh, okay, this is the Aries reading. It's a big yes. Some of you, this is a proposal. This is, if not proposal right now, in this February 1st of 15, it's going to be, this is the person you'll be marrying. We have the King of Wands marrying the Six of Wands, the procession. Come on, Ten of Pentacles leading in, and you lead out with the sun in reverse. That tells me that this is going to be a very long, long story, a very long journey of experiencing, okay, the sunset, the sunset. this life this experience okay as it moves i'm hearing through you through your life this is about truly surrendering and experiencing and being vulnerable to something and this could be one of the first times in your life Sagittarius that you feel you can hold that energy with someone so that's very really exciting very beautiful energies for you Sag and let's clear it could even be this moment where you say, like, I feel... Let's go. Let's back it up. We have Justice leading you out. We're in Temperance. Yeah, this is a heavenly, heavenly... I mean, you were moving through gates here. Four of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. And the Sunrise Upright. Wow. Did we not just say Sunset? Wow. I'm here and there you go there you go that's mirroring the ten of pentacles this is something that you maybe at a certain point you worked very hard for this this is not just hard it's you you did your shadow work Sagittarius yeah and now you're seeing what lies beyond that okay that sensation of feeling like you don't have a home with the hermit 
okay, in the tower, and I feel like this is something that you push yourself through, and this can be a metaphor, this is a birth of you, I'm seeing a spider here, there's something that, you know, you really needed to change, maybe even, and you did, and some of you, you know, you reign victorious, the magician, your very own card, sitting on that nine of swords with the sunrise card, and the page of wands, there's someone here, very particular, that, I mean, keep hearing, you know, you remember, and we have the moonlight card mirroring the page of wands, this is the full moon, wow, um, some of you, you're definitely, you're a magical, earthly dweller, you are someone who, you are, you are magic, I mean, this is the channel alchemy, and you, and it, I'm seeing it here, you are proving this to yourself, the ace of pentacles sits on the seven of pentacles, this is, wow, the world, the five of wands mirror in the world this is some someone i'm hearing specifically and it could be someone you see in yourself this is someone who you wow this is just beautiful i mean it's a legacy this is a legacy this is someone that you recall in your you recall you you are you are emerging as even okay and so if it is a reunion i see that you're really starting to feel very connected to this person in a way that you know i do feel many of you this is someone new i feel that this is someone though that feels old at the same time okay and it's like there's no way that i didn't manifest this because i know i see it in this person that you know this is this is for me so you can tell almost you know that it's like you created all of this Sagittarius is it you created this reality again that six of swords in the theme the four of swords this has come from you though really seeing beyond what felt to be like challenges okay and saying that's the barometer for me for my ascension for my growth the things that hope i feel are like oh that's not working that's telling me that something else is working and so i gotta look for that what is working right there is something that you know you 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 really made it past okay the test of and i feel like this is something of a past life karmic bond that you flip the node sagittarius okay so you have the king cups ten of cups and the emperor leading you out i feel like if this is not your your person i feel like you know they may lead you to your person okay let's say it like that um the ten of wands in reverse yeah and so this is just it's not yeah the empress wow <laughs> we just went to the empress mirroring that emperor this is something that you know you find is um relevant in ways that you'll discover we'll see in the next readings and this is so much about the energy that you adhere to as just that of freedom to experience your life the way that you desire it to be um, felt okay to be interacted with to be um, um you know um sort of um remembered as okay because this is not just yet again um how do we say this is a matter of how you see yourself sag so we'll see